Hey, what's up Las Vegas? My name is Marlo. I'm here to show you how to water plants and trees in the hot summer in Las Vegas. So right here we have some popular plants and trees I have in my backyard. And uh, first off, we're going to start off with the Japanese blueberry because I see a lot of these uh, small trees uh, dying in people's yards because they don't know how to water the tree. So this tree is about 12 feet tall and this tree came in a 24 inch planter box, pretty big box, right? So trees come in a variety of pots, right? So there's a pot right there that's probably like a five gallon pot. So they come in a five gallon pot, 10 gallon pot, 15 gallon pot, and then the next big step is the 24 inch planter box so this one this tree right here gets 24 gallons of water per day and I know that sounds like a lot of water but um they need that much water so you water about four to six days a week early in the morning preferably and uh so let's say you have a tree in your backyard that's slightly smaller than this one say maybe eight to ten feet more than likely came in a 15 gallon pot so i get 24 gallons of water a 15 gallon pot would probably get 15 gallons of water so how would you do the math on that so you have these drippers at the bottom so let's say each dripper was five gallons per hour you would put three underneath the trunk there make sure the water doesn't touch the trunk you know direct splash to the trunk and uh, three times five is uh, 15, 15 gallons of water. So you can get those drippers at Home Depot. Uh, you can get them online, uh, pretty much at any nursery. So a, a lot of mistakes what people do when they water their trees, they think they're doing it good. They'll splash the leaves with water. And you don't want to do that. It scorches the leaves. You'll burn the tree, okay? So let's say, I don't know, maybe you got a tree in a five gallon pot, right? So you're gonna give it five gallons of water, right? So here's a ja climbing jasmine over here. So these tree, these plants came in a five gallon pot. So I give each one of these five gallons of water per day in the summer, four to six days a week. Over here, these are uh, desert tolerant plants. They're white oleanders. And uh, if you have pets that like to eat everything, you probably don't wanna put these in your yard. They're poisonous. But uh, these only require, you can probably get away with just watering them once a week, but I give them about a half a gallon per day, four to six days a week. All right, so let's talk about putting a plant in a planter. So what I've learned with these uh, planters here, this is a ceramic planter, and these planters give off a lot of heat. So what I've noticed, any, any shrub or plant that's dark green like that, and it's gonna be out in the open, in the open sun, it's not, it, it, won't, it won't survive in, in the hot heat. It just won't. So from my experience, what survives in a hot heat are shrubs like this, with little light green leaves, little tiny leaves, anything that's got tiny leaves or light green. And over here, so I have some gardenias down there, more lush uh, plants. I got a Japanese blueberry down there that's thriving. So same thing, it's a big tree. So that gets 24 gallons of water per day. So we'll come over here to a planter, another plant over here. It's a bird of paradise. So these you can't put out in the hot heat. The, all those leaves, these big leaves will burn. So what I've noticed under a patio with partial sun, it will thrive. So the word of the rule of thumb is uh, when you water a plant like this, you just, you know, about a gallon or two, and you'll see water 
and go to the bottom of the pot and you'll know it's watered pretty good. And over here we got a little shrub over here down here in a little pot. That would only require maybe a half a gallon or a gallon of water per day. Right? This is uh, Bird of Paradise. It's in the shade. I'll, I'll only give it water every other day. So you want your plants to thrive. So when you plant your plants in Las Vegas, you know, it's a desert. It's not like we're in Florida or California. You need to give it fertilizer. So I got this fertilizer it's by Alaska, fish plant food. And what you look for when you get fertilizer is uh, it won't burn your plants. Because there's fertilizers that you use in the summer that you don't know and it will burn your plants. So I got this at Home Depot for like 10 bucks. If you don't have a Home Depot, I'll try to find the links to where you can find it. So, we'll come back over here. So, these drippers here, like that one, I have down there, it's a zero to 14 gallons per hour. So each time I water my plants, I only water my plants for one hour per day. A lot of people like to split it up in two. Maybe a half an hour in the morning and half an hour late at night. But uh, yeah, you just need to water them for one hour per day. So uh, over here, I live in Las Vegas and... Uh, in Vegas your yards aren't too big so what I learned is uh, if you have a, an above ground watering system like I have here attached to my hose it goes under the ground under the pavers along my sitting bench and my patio and it goes under and I put it just under the rocks and you can if you don't have the same setup you could just bury it in the ground and make it the watering system go along the wall it was very cheap and inexpensive i think it's like less than 150 bucks goes underneath the grass and along the wall and as you can see how the gardenias over there those gardenias i give them about you know one gallon to two gallons per day and I chose this way above the ground because these landscapers, you know, they'll tell you, you need, you know, the underground irrigation. They start digging in your, your ground. And uh, when a pipe breaks, guess who you got to call? You got to call them back and fix it. If I have anything break here, I can just, you know, go and find the PVC, uh, irrigation holes and do a quick fix you know what i mean but uh if you like things to do around the house you like to be productive i uh hope you uh enjoyed this video if you go ahead and like the video and help the algorithm i'm new to youtube that will help me out so if i was able to help you out please do that and continue to follow i will continue to give you guys value all right guys